Hey guys, it's Nicole and I'm back and I just wanted to do a video on my daily lesson planner for homeschool. Stay tuned. Nicole and I'm back I just wanted to do a quick video today um, about my planner my homeschool planner I never shared this and it's weird to me now looking through other um, videos and I realize I haven't done a planner video so I'm gonna do one today and what really motivated me to really do a planner video today is that I actually went to the Target dollar spot today and I picked up these really cute stickers and stuff and sticky pads and washi tape and this little doohickey I don't know this is like a coupon holder but you can also use it for whatever you like I'm gonna be putting my planner related supplies in there and I also got some other Valentine's Day related stuff but that's gonna be on a whole nother video because yeah, but today I'm going to focus on my homeschool planner and uh, this planner is a free download. I got it totally free from Confessions of a Homeschooler's website. Um, as you can see right there, um, copyright 2013 Erica made design. So that's her name, Erica from Confessions of a Homeschooler. And I just absolutely love everything that she does. And this planner is one of the things that she offers totally free off of her website. And it's amazing. There's also one you can buy that's a lot more colorful, but I got the free one. First of all, um, it doesn't come like this obviously you you print it and I got mine spiral bound and I got vinyl um, a vinyl protector on the front and on the back of it so there's like a vinyl a clear vinyl protected um, plastic page on the front and back which has allowed it to hold up perfectly as you can see for the entire school year and only uh, my husband actually did it for free um, from where he works so I really don't know how much it would cost if you were to go to Staples to get it done but I'm pretty sure probably I, I want to say probably I don't know under ten dollars I would hope and it's a pretty good um, planner so at the oops sorry I think it's a really good deal pretty much so first of all I'm going to show you the back of it um, or the things that are in it in the inside my husband as much as I love him he actually made a big mistake when printing this out every other page is upside down so bear with me it's been confusing for me all school year but I've learned to work with it so from the back I'm going to show you first it has a year at a glance as you can see it has a 2014-2015 year at a glance um, it's colorful it's nice it allows you to mark off when you're going to have trip days or when you're going to have no school or your first days or important days your first days back your first days on um what have you so that's something that's really good to have it also has a 2015 2016 year at a glance for if you do print this off for next year so i found that to be a good thing also um, it has what is this long-term grades and attendance records if you want to keep long-term grades and attendance records I don't have anything written here because my kid is a kindergartner so I didn't write anything here and I don't think I would put anything like this in um, a planner I would actually want to have a digital copy I'd want to have it on my um, computer I'd actually want like a word document or an Excel spreadsheet but if you are into just writing things down um, that option is here as well 
They have a grade record recording sheet. I'm really not a recorder of grades. I kind of just put some arbitrary stuff down for the homeschool review, but overall my kid gets an A because we don't move on until he masters everything. So I'm not a grader. The sheet is here and I kind of just wanted something so that the homeschool reviewer could see that. Um, homeschool attendance, it has the attendance broken down by month. Um, I decided that I'd just put slashes on weekdays and holidays and put present if he's there and absent if he's not. And then I just total up the amount of days at the end of the month. And there you have it at the end of the year, I can put total days of attendance. Another thing that I found to be really nice with this is that it gives you a sight word um, assessment form, which is pretty cool. Um, by grade, um, kindergarten one, kindergarten two, first grade, second grade, so on and so forth. It's um, if they can read it and they can spell it. So as they are able to read and spell it, you check it off. And I believe they also have one uh, kindergarten assessment form as well. Um, developing normally needs further development for the fall and for the spring. You check things off as it goes on. So I found that to be very nice as well. They even have a preschool, she even has a preschool assessment for so my three-year-old, I've begun checking things off as I go with, um, the, am I gaining self-confidence? I make good use of my time. I enjoy books. I can remember s simple rhymes. I can recognize A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. I can, I can hear words that rhyme, a whole bunch of stuff, numbers, everything. So I found that to be very um, good, especially for kids my age. Um, I think it's cool that she includes all of these things. She has a unit study planner, okay, which you can lay things out. I wrote things out at the beginning of the year, and I've pretty much done all of these things. I didn't really go into detail about what I need to buy or borrow or what have you, but for the most part, it's good to just plan it out. What else does she have? She has a school supply shopping list, a couple of them, one that you can photocopy and take along with you, one that you can check off as you go. Um, she has a photocopies needed sheet, which is very great, but I didn't use it. <laughs> I just feel like it's a bit much. I don't need to write down every single thing. I have to photocopy for extracurricular activities that the kids involve, the cost, whether you got did it yet or not. Um, she has a craft supply list, a reading log, which I have not been using because he has a reading notebook, so I don't write down his reading in here. As you can see, I wrote down like the first thing he read, and then we went to the reading notebook, pretty much. Um, field trip fit planning form. This thing is detailed, people, for absolutely free. So pretty much these are the extra things that are included in this totally free planner and there's more but i'm just going to go ahead and go on to the daily day-to-day -day planning so i'm just going to show you this week because pretty much every week looks exactly the same i've started to jazz my little planner up using some washi tape um as you can see and some stickers and chalkboard stickers just things to make it fun you can do that i don't go overboard um, if you go and look up um, planner decorating, people are going crazy with this planner decorating movement that's been going on lately where they put sticky tabs that coordinate with stickers, that coordinate with washi tape for every weekly layout. Eventually, I'll get into all that. I ordered an Erin Condren planner so for my personal and daily life. So I'll get into all of that, um, but for my homeschool planner, I don't think it's necessary to get crazy, but it adds a little happiness <laughs> to the week, my plan. Um, paperclip, dollar store paperclip. It's like a cute little damask print, as you can see. And I just use that to keep my place in there so it kind of sticks up at the top so I know, you know, whatever day I'm on. We didn't really have school yesterday. My husband was home, so he read them some Martin Luther King books and we did some Martin Luther King activities and that was it. Um, usually we have co-op on Monday, so Monday is usually a do nothing or nothing school related in the home. Um, and then I have things planned out by subject. I have classical conversations, math, language, arts, science, social studies, what is this, health, um, Bible, and fine arts at the bottom. And um, I have every day we do um, 
classical conversations, memory work, we do math, and we do language arts. So those are things that we do every day. We do a topic, two topics from classical conversations. Yesterday was Latin and timeline. Today was math and geography. Um, then we do math and I write down what exercises in um, the Singapore math book that he does. We're wrapping up 1A, we're moving on to math 1B at the end of this month. Um, language arts, I put, we do a Becca, so I say which book we're pulling from and we do the next activity on that book, in that book that I pulled from. So um, today he did a, a short um, story in Aesop's Fables, he read that um, and he read the questions out loud for the reading comprehension and then we did spelling. Um, and then when he gets up from his nap, we're going to do lesson 17 in social studies. Um, we're still going over communication, manners, and how to be polite. So that's what we've pretty much covered so far this year in um, social studies. Next semester, I mean, the, at the end of this book, we're going to be starting on community helpers, I believe. So, um, yeah, I just break it down like this. This planner is great if you have one child that you're planning for or multiple kids that you're planning for. I only plan for my kindergartner in here because my two and three year old, I just make up activities and I do the activities. I have them out for the week. So if you see my workbook work shelf Wednesday um, videos, you know what I mean. I just have activities that they do and we cycle through them that week and that's how they learn. And then they have a workbook as well. Um, but for him, I actually plan in more detail since he's formally homeschooled and you know, people come in the house and look at what we do. Um, when you have multiple kids, you can plan by putting the kid's name here. And then maybe you can just put topics in each one of these lines and say math on Monday, Lisa is doing this, or Lisa is doing this in language arts and this and this. So you can do day by day like that with the child's name here. But me, since I'm only planning for, um, pretty much just the kindergartner, I did the subjects down the side. Um, next year, when I want to get more heavy into planning um, in detail for my three-year-old who will be four, uh, and since I'll be his second year in preschool, I'll include him in this. So I'll, I can redo this structure if, I'm, if I decide to use this planner or again next year. I can always, I have it, I digitally downloaded it, I have it. I can print out as many copies as I want. So if I feel like doing this one again next year, I can. Um, let's see what I have going on for next week. I plan to about two weeks in advance. I started this school year off doing six weeks and that backfired because things happen and things don't go as planned. So I decided to not over plan. So I try to do um, sit down a couple times a month and just plan. So next week we have um, co-op from 10 to 3 on Monday. So I just kind of put the washi tape there because we're not really doing anything. Um, we're going to be doing co-op and then uh, everything is laid out pretty much the same as I did um, for this week. I just have to go in and write my math topics or exercises in the math book that we'll be doing. Fridays we do tests and we do, um, we're going to do an art activity and for science, we'll be doing science on the first four elements, science activity on Thursday, social studies on Wednesday, health, hand washing with glitter on, um, on Tuesday, and Bible. So you get my layout. It's pretty, pretty simple. And I like this planner because it is simple to use it's easy to use and it gives me enough space to plan things out if anything i have more than enough space because i have extra spots here with the way that i laid it out but again if you have multiple kids this will get filled up easily because you'll be doing one child per um, line or per row so um i i think it's a great planner and this is my uh homeschool planner again a free download from uh, Erica over at Confessions of a Homeschooler. I um, thought about making my own, decided against it because I really just don't have the time or the patience to search <laughs> for everything I want. And then I want everything to be cohesive and I want everything to be the same color. And I like that all my pages look the same. 
I don't like, you know, things that are pieced together from one website and another website and this one's pink and this one's blue, but I like this. And as you can see, I fold down pages for weeks that we didn't have school or what have you. And I like writing arrows to move things around. I try to color code subjects with highlighters. You know, you do your own thing to kind of make it um, fun and unique for you. So um, again, I think it's a good deal. This is my daily lessons planner and records for the Venters family for 2014 and 2015. I hope you enjoyed my little mini planner tour and um, let me know how you plan. I'd love to see it. Okay, bye.